Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $5 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. The price is going to go up in a few days, but if you get it, now while it's $5, the price stays the same for you. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So, be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up, guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie, as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like, in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Hey, what's up, guys? I used to be able to dunk. Oh. Here, buddy. Hey, I gotta talk to you about messages to uh, Maddie, okay? Or to, I'm sorry, to Hannah. Hannah? Yeah. Who's Hannah? The girl I was talking to today. All right, I got two people here with me for safety reasons. I don't want to do this in front of your son. Okay. Um, gosh, hard to find a quiet place. No I had no idea what. Underage. I didn't mention she was underage. Why did oh. you bring that up? She told you she was underage. I don't know. Okay. Well, look, Scott, I know it's nerve-wracking with your son right here. Okay. But, I mean, like, what I want to do is I want to cut through it. But, look, man, I see what you follow on Instagram. She even asks you, you like young girls. I see you follow a hashtag 13-year-olds on Instagram. Like, just cut, cut it out, man, okay? Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Did she tell you she was 13? 
didn't know. Oh, Scott, be honest. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. Okay. Okay, you knew she was 13? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it was on air. Yeah, I know. I brought her and restrict her. Well, let's, uh, why don't we, let's just sit at that table over there. That's cool. Okay. Well, I don't want to, just tell your son it's all good. So you going to be okay? No. Mental stuff? You know, a little bit. Not too much. Mm -hmm. Got it. Well, I mean, I would just probably, you know, obviously you're the, you're the dad here, but I would just probably hand him the basketball and just, you know, say, I just got to talk to them, you know. But I definitely don't want to ruin his thing, but, you know, I figured whether I'm confronting you at home or whether it's here, you know, your son's just going to be around. I just, right. you know, obviously there's no, there's no good way to do this, you know what I mean? But obviously it has nothing to do with him and we're just here to talk to you. And I'm not saying, I'm not worried about you with him, you know what I mean? You know, obviously I know you're a good father and stuff like that, okay? Yeah, I got two older kids. Yeah. And when it's married, and when it's living with me, it helps me with him. Uh huh. Got it. Got it. What's up with that? One second. Should we just go outside? Huh? Oh, uh, we can just do it in here. But uh, should, do you think maybe uh, is there like a lit place outside we can do this? Yeah, right out here. Okay. You know a place? I don't know a place. Or but do you know like? A, I mean, I can't leave here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying leave here, but like, is there like, right outside, is there like a lit, lit, lit area we can talk about? Um, outside. Outside? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Just, your son's going to be, is he going to be, does he have practice in like 10 minutes? Uh, yeah, my five, 10 minutes. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's just go right here where it's like kind of lit. Yeah, well, yeah, and of course those are for safety reasons because, you know, I just, so it's proven that I didn't threaten you or anything like that. It's all voluntary, okay? If you want, I can go ahead. Go ahead do what? Get rid of the uh, Instagram. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure all of that stuff out, man, but, like, I'm just curious, like, how, how did this kind of stuff start for you? When I'm talking about with Hannah, I'm just talking about, you know, in general. No, I just started getting on Instagram, like, six years ago. Six years ago? Yeah. Yeah, but like, you know, I'm kind of hinting at something before that. Like, you know, your parent, you said your parents mentioned that, um, you know, they didn't tell you which ages to date, stuff like that. Like, I know you're not a bad guy. I just think that this is something that you grew up with. So, yeah. well, see, when I was growing up, uh -huh. I lived on a farm all my life. Okay. My parents, my dad always worked. Yeah. He hustled, he drove a truck. Yeah. Come home, feed the animals. Uh -huh. Me and my mom fed the animals. Right. So after all them years, me and my brothers never got along. They moved out. Mm -hmm. And my middle brother, he and I fought like, it's like I hated him. Yeah. For no reason. And he moved away, came back five years later, apologized to him. Mm -hmm. said, you know, look, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, to all that point, um, we lived on, I lived on a secluded farm. Okay. So when I was growing up, Stayed on the farm. Never, sure. Never went to the movies. Uh huh. Never we went to private school. Mm -hmm. Private school, and my dad had a uh, what was it? cancer on his left lung. Okay. Well, we didn't know it was cancer until we moved to Delaware. Right, right, right. And um, from New York. Well, from New York to Virginia, we were lived in Virginia for eight years. Okay. And then for um, Virginia, we moved here. Yeah. 82. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So we found out he had cancer. Uh huh. So, he um, went about three years and finally he got part of his lung ripped out. Uh huh. So, from after that, when I was in school, got out of school, mom just read me a book that said, Here, this is about the birds and the bees. Mm hmm. Show me a book. I didn't understand it. I yeah. kind of asked questions. But, all right, what am I supposed to do? Right, right, right. Mom says, well, just go out. Just make sure, you know, never were, not to get into it, but she told me, you know, don't do drugs. Don't drink alcohol. Right. You can go out with your friends. Just don't do nothing, you know, that's horrible. Right, right. So I never did anything like that. I partied. 
drain. No, I know I supposed to, but mine's supposed to drink mm -hmm. and drive, but I did. Yeah. But I had people that drove me home. Yeah. Other than that, when I lived on my own and had, you know, I didn't even have a cell phone until 2000, 2002. Okay. So after that, um, I didn't know anything about Instagram until five, year, five or six years ago. Did I say mm -hmm. that? Yeah, yeah. I had cousins were on and I'm trying to look for my cousins and I couldn't. Yeah. And then I got into four wheel drives and mud trucks, mud monster trucks, hot rods, cars, food. And then, you know, you had the search bar on the bottom there and I was just searching for single girls. Mm -hmm. And then it just... Kind of went down a rabbit hole? Rabbit hole. And then okay. I, and then I got... Oh, you got... What happened? My, oh, Jesus. I thought I was talking to a nice lady in Texas. Yeah. She was 25. She was in college. Uh huh. So I sent her $25. Uh huh. And then I got threatened that, uh, oh, uh, I'm going to get on Facebook and tell your family. And though I didn't really tell her my real name. Yeah. But it kind of escalated a little bit. And then I had to find friends that said, look, um, we need, we need to tell you that uh, you need to st just stay off Instagram, just block and restrict. Mm -hmm. So I blocked and restricted, and somehow she got back on and had another name with the same face. I said, "Wait a minute, why is this girl treating college?" Did she? Did she like basically tell you she was in college? And then you get a call like, "Oh, I'm actually underage. I'm going to tell everybody about this." Or no, nothing like that. Okay, okay. But she found me on Messenger on Facebook. Yeah. And then it caught me, and I was so scared. Uh -huh. she, um, she even had people with uh, another n number, like from India, mm -hmm. call me up and threaten me. So now I end up saying, hey, look, I'm getting my lawyer right now. Let's just talk this over. Never heard from him again. That was like four years ago. Okay. And my neighbor down the road, he told me, he said, you know, Scott, you need to just don't send nobody money. So yeah. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I got messed up by doing it again. Thought maybe, you know, and then the guys at work said, you know, you shouldn't do that, man, because you're sending money to people. You don't even know who the hell you're sending money to. Right. Because this one guy, he said uh, his buddy lost a $250,000 house over it. Over like a. Yeah, he kept sending money to this lady. Uh huh. Tried to bring her home. Yeah. And he was a single guy, and he lost his house over. Wow. Well, that's that's crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you you kind of smartened up at this man, because that's that's not good with anybody. I mean, we already pay enough taxes, so no no, no need for more than that. No, even Walmart says that. Yeah. When you're cashing your check. Yeah. You, you know, if they say, "Oh, you don't love me because you didn't pay me no money." Right. Right. So yeah. So I kind of like swipe that out. You know, if I see. A name like a girl name would be. Well, it's Shelly Wing. Uh huh. They say, well, that's my dad's name. Uh huh. My name is Shelly. Uh huh. So when you get to know him a little bit and they say something with AM yeah. in front of it, that's somebody from another country because they don't really know, understand. Oh, yeah, like Am Busy right now. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. But. Yeah, I mean, so, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting it. Yeah, and I'm, so, I'm so glad you smartened up. To this. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, good online literacy is a really good thing, especially in the current year. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of saying because you know, you mentioned today, like in the messages, that you know, you were 14. There was a someone that was 12. I'm not saying that's like wrong or bad or anything, but you know, obviously. And this is what I'm concerned about. I mean, this is what I'm just here to talk to you about because, you know, I know you're not a bad guy. I just think, like, you know, maybe it's how you were raised or something. But all of these hashtags, you know, I mean, you literally follow the hashtag 13-year-old girl on Instagram and a bikini teen, canine girl. Uh, canine girls might be whatever, but... Canine is... Uh, yeah, the dog. Yeah. Or maybe kindergarten through nine. You, you never it's, know with you. But I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, the guy knows the dogs. It's dogs because that's, I've seen a whole profile. Right, right. And then, you know, of course, these pictures of underage kids right here, um, um, you know, liked by you. This one was liked by you as well. So, I have no idea who this is, but I'm just, 
I was just looking at the accounts you follow and I noticed like a lot of the younger kind of, you know, you're kind of liking those photos and, you know, like that's... It's, it's getting, I know, I'm, I'm... Getting out of hand a little bit? Yes. Okay. I, need, I, I was slowing down and I took, kept... I said, look, I'm telling myself, look, I got a 10-year-old, uh -huh. I got a 23-year-old living with me. I just yeah. can't do this anymore. Right, right. So, so I started liking a lot of them and then um, getting, I'm blocking a lot of them. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm... I'm so is, is your algorithm pretty much like you know displaying because you know i know instagram sucks people into some bad stuff yeah did, does, did instagram just display to you just all these underage profiles when you just go on there it's a, it shows up on people who you may like yeah yeah did it just shows more underage 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 well it don't look like they're underage but it's kind of like what do you call it um what's that word um Young, yeah. barely legal. No, no, it looks like they have their mother there. Oh, okay. So it's like a, it's a, a, ma it's like, a manage, managed profile. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's, it's pictures of you know underage, but it's managed by the mom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But so. I don't follow that. Okay. And I had been getting rid of some of that stuff, and I'm gonna get rid of that other Instagram I got right now. Yeah, cause you know I don't profile. You know, the, how long were you following this 13-year-old girl hashtag for? It's hashtag 13-year-old girl. I have no idea. Hashtag 13? Yeah, I mean, this is, these are the hashtags that you follow. You know, that's the reason I try to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. When I unfollow and block, well, I don't know, you can't block them, but mm -hmm. they're hashtags. But I'm trying to find them on my, my phone. Yeah. But I don't know how to get to them because you put in hashtag this and it said it does no profile. Right, right. Because you have to put the specific like letters and you know, so if you change one thing. Do, so do you remember like how many years you've been following hashtags? Has it always been since you were on Instagram? Has it been it like been a month? Oh, come on, Scott, your account's older than a month. Okay. Well, my, I just started. Okay. What day is it? Um, was it December? Yeah, well, we have messages from October. Oh, October? Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe yeah. that's back then, but Halloween time. Okay, yeah, that's when you think you follow these hashtags? I didn't, I mean, I can, I can... I mean, these aren't just hashtags that you searched up before. These are hashtags that you searched up and followed, because it's oh, literally okay. on your following. So, so on 13-year-old girl, you pressed follow on here. I mean, I'm just, I'm just curious because, again, you know, I know the Internet's kind of getting you into this stuff, and I'm just right, curious, like... So, I'm, so obviously, on the Tony, or I'm sorry, on the account, you have a thousand people you're following. A lot of them, it's a lot of the same stuff. It's um, food. Yeah. Trucks. No, I know, but it's yeah, also a lot of this type of stuff, too. I mean, I, I don't have any of them. I only got, like, maybe... The uh, one girl there, what is it? There's a couple of them that drive Jeeps. Mm -hmm. But they're they're of age. Right. Like they're in the 20s. Right. Married. Okay. Primarily like the account that you would use to just do like the this type of stuff? Yeah, just because I, I wanted, actually I wanted to run, I like uh, the, the, between 18 and up girls. Okay. I don't know why I went in down and it's like, Falling into a, uh, what's it called, like a whirlpool? Mm -hmm. whirlpool? Yeah, no, I'm not, yes. I'm not doubting you, like, 18 and up girls. Like, obviously, you know, you were married, you have kids. I, I get that. But, you know, how long has this whirlpool been going on for? Too long. Too long? Has it been, like, six I mean, years or? Um, no, because I'd start at, like, probably in the middle of last summer. Mm -hmm. So I was laid up for two months. I had my knee surgery. And I don't know if maybe I got the time and just, yeah, just got yeah, okay. up. Okay. So the girl from Europe and Mexico, those two, you know, the profile that you sent today to Hannah. How long were they talking to you for? Christmas time. Christmas time. It's February, right? Yeah. So you're talking to Hannah for longer than them, or were they before Hannah? Hannah was like off and on. Right. Um, 
think the last time, when was the last time I talked to him? December. December? I told her I, told her I was to my mom. Okay, we have messages from Hannah today. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, we talked um, yeah, talk today. Yeah. I observed sick, some disturbance. I, I, I really got sick at mm -hmm. my table. I threw up. One of the guys came over and said, look, what is wrong? It's, man, I just got going on right now. Mm -hmm. And he knew just, I had to go and get the mop kit, clean up around my desk. And, about what you said today? No, about me throwing up. Oh, no, I'm saying about, like, what... Oh, you yeah. threw up because of what you said today, yes. or...? Okay, okay. I, I had... I was done. Got it. No, why? I even said that. It was like... Like, there's a part of me that's saying, you know, look... Should you or should you not? Uh -huh. yeah. So, I think we need to stop. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just kind of... I've, I've been praying to God to every morning. Mm-hmm. Not to look on Instagram. Just get up, go to work, and don't look at the stuff. And it's it's actually making me sick right now. I would tell him it's good, man. Tell him he, something. He knows. Okay. Because I, he knows the Instagram I talk to on my name. Oh, he knows the one. No. He oh. Knows, he knows. Oh, okay, okay. Because he, we watch videos like the, um, what, uh, which name died? Yeah, yeah. What's that guy's name? Dog the Bounty Hunter? No. The guy that, um, he did a lot of racing. Oh. Hoonigan. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we watch a lot of his stuff. Uh-huh. And all on Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I mean, I'm kind of curious because, you know, obviously you mentioned the girl in Europe. What was her name again? I forgot. I can't even pronounce it. A-D something. A-D something? Okay. So you mentioned with her that she calls you daddy, and she talks about wearing, wearing tape. Yeah. Okay. Like gagging or something. I never heard of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen it on Lifetime movies. That, and she's 13? You mentioned, okay. Well, you mentioned that the girl from Mexico is 12, and the girl from Europe is 13, or you mix it up. So she's 12 or 13. I think both of them are like 14 or 15. Okay, listen, man, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be saying, look again. I'm not here to judge you for any of this stuff. Okay, even if this was infant stuff, which believe me exists. I know you're not into that. I wouldn't be judging you, but like, look, there's a reason I'm talking to you out here and not in there. I, I do not feel embarrassed around me because I'm not judging you, man. But you need to tell me the truth. Is she 12 or 13? Who the? Uh, the European. I don't know if she's. 13 or 14, I'm not okay. quite sure. I don't remember seeing her name, I mean, her age on her profile. Okay. Well, you mentioned that you talked to a 12-year-old and a 13-year-old, and you mentioned the girl from Mexico and the European. So which one of them is 12, which one of them is 13? Because if you knew earlier today, I mean, I don't think you were just lying in the messages about that. I mean, so no. wh which one's which? I'm trying to think. Yeah, can you go in a minute? Yeah, we'll, we'll put the gear. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm trying to think. I might have. Slipped up on saying that I like 12 year olds. Well, I'm not saying you said you like 12 year olds. I'm just saying you said one talked to you. And obviously, you didn't go to meet her, you didn't try to meet her. Yeah. But I'm just, you know, I get your divorce and stuff like that, and talk is talk. But look, there's obviously, look, the most candid you could have been is just going to be here where you're guarded, where it's a screen protecting you. Right. So I'm going to ask, did the European tell you she was 12 or 13? Or did the Hispanic tell you she, she was 12 or 13? Uh, both of them told me they were like 13, 14 years old. Okay. So both of them are either 13 or 14? Something like that. Okay. I mean, they, they could be lying about their age too. Okay. So the European, with she says, you say she has like, a, she calls you daddy. And how long has she been calling you daddy for? The, like a couple weeks. A couple weeks. Okay. 
said she liked to be taped up because her stepdad dad does the same thing to her. Oh, okay. Has she, uh, gosh, okay. So what's your role with her, you know, daddy? Well, I don't really like the gagging thing. I don't know what the gagging is all about. Uh -huh. I don't know if that means they put their hand around them. I don't know. Are you like into like the poop and shop stuff? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I thought like, cause you were Klaus Schwab Jr. I'm sorry, I got it mixed up. Um, so she mentions like gagging and all of like that. She likes to be taped up and she likes to wear tight vinyl. And this is what this 13 year old told you. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. She'd show me pictures that how she wants to be wrapped up and everything. Yeah. Okay. So she would show you pictures of how she wants to be wrapped. Oh my gosh. Stuff that uh, uh, I said. Did, what did, in the world? Did her stepdad ever film anything with her? I don't know. Okay. Because I mean, you know, if that's the case, because I know you don't want that happening to her. No. So I mean, like, if the, if there's anything that's going on with her, because you know, obviously we're in America here, but it's so easy to report something to like, right. you know, Nick Mick or something like that to like help get her, you know, protected. Right. Is there is there anything that she sent you where she's like, and I'm not saying you would ask for this stuff or promote, okay? But I know you you're not that guy. But it, has she ever sent you like pictures where she has tape on her mouth or anything like that? Mm -mm. She just said that she gets in the car with her stepdad when her mom ain't there. Uh -huh. And he just tapes her mouth because he doesn't want to hear her talk. What what uh, pictures has she sent you? It's uh, a blonde girl wearing tape across her mouth, duct tape. No, I'm saying of herself. I don't even know. That's even her. No, that no, wouldn't be her. It was actually a woman. No, no. Voice. Yeah, no, I saw the blonde girl, but what pictures did this girl in Europe send you of herself? Like just selfies or other stuff? What just did she other send? stuff that she found on, probably on Google or on the web, how she wants to be mm -hmm. done. No, but I'm saying, did she send you like any selfies of herself? Like just regular pics? No. Okay. Did She obviously had pics on her profile. I mean, I checked the profile out myself. Yeah. Okay. So but she didn't, didn't see any thinking about being taped or gagged on her. No, no, I know. But I'm, I'm just saying, did she send you like selfies of herself that weren't taped or gagged? I don't know because half the pictures are her face is taken out of it. Oh, her face is taken out of it? I guess because she's actually wearing something that's so tight around her whole body from her ankles up to here. Oh, okay. And her head is not shown. Oh, and that's the girl in Europe. So that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's physically her. No, no, but they don't say her. They don't say her. Right. They don't show her face. But but that's her saying that that it's her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And she's like basically trying to get you into this kink or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And how how so? How long has this kink been going on for that she's been trying to get you in? Uh, two, three. Let's see. It's February. So she's she asked me last month. Uh huh. If, if I would tape her up, I said, I didn't really want to give her an answer about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't know what, what it meant. Uh -huh. well, I actually had to look it up. What, what taping is? No, gag. Gag, okay. Because I thought gagging, because I seen a movie on about gagging. Mm -hmm. That's a woman wanting, um, in college, these girls wanted to be choked and gagged. Yeah. Because it was a thing, I guess, back in a couple of years ago. Uh-huh. And I said, and I looked it up, and then I looked it up on Lifetime Movie, and I said, damn, that's what she likes? That's weird. Mm -hmm. Tape. I mean, I heard people want to be taped up and wired and all right, that. Right, right. And did you ever send her any selfies of yourself? Like, just like, hey, here's me? Um, only, I think I sent her me in my uniform. Oh, in your work uniform? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And this was the European girl? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Klaus Schwab does like overseas trading. Um, so I do want to get into the messages with Hannah. Um, and before we do that, what about the uh, what about the Hispanic chick in Mexico? The other 13-year-old. Uh, she doesn't really like to talk to me that much. She said she's rather be she'd, the She said black guys. Yeah, she's This 13-year-old? Yeah. Okay. Because her... She said her mom had, when she got divorced, she started dating black guys. Uh -huh. And then she, um, all the Mexican guys, and all the Mexican guys are racist. They don't like black people coming into their country. 
Okay. So she tells me that when she's hanging out at the beach, yeah, and she's all the black guys are down there, and she likes to hang out with them. And this is a 13-year-old telling you this. Okay. So I mean, she, she kind of seems promiscuous in a way. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't like Mexicans. She don't really like white guys. Uh huh. And we, we don't really talk that much. I mm -hmm. mean, I said hi, maybe. Yeah. Seven hours later, seven hours later, she'll say hi, hey, what's up? Okay. But uh, that's about it. So how do, how does she talk about like who she likes and if it's just hi hello all the time? Um, what do you mean? Like, I mean, she obviously told you, like, who she likes, who she hangs out with yeah. on the beach. I mean, how did that come up when it's just hi, hello all the time? Uh, let me see, how did that happen? She told me uh -huh. that she didn't like white guys. Okay. I think she said she don't like the boys. She don't like the Mexican boys around her, even though she has cousins and all that. Uh -huh. But she just doesn't like, she likes a different color. So I guess she doesn't like her own race or something. Yeah. So she wants to try another color. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only thing I could think of. Okay. So messages with Hannah, um, you know, she mentioned she's 13 years old, obviously, right off the bat. And, you know, you knew this on the account, right? Right. Okay. So how did you how did she how did you find her how did she find you? Because and how long have you had this account for? Let's see, what year was it? Two thousand three. What was? Two thousand three. No, not two thousand twenty three. So what's? Nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. I got the rules 2019. So I think it was 2019 in December. Okay. All right. Because, you know, quite sure. if you guys found each other on the account, that means that, you know, the only account where, you know, the younger ladies under 18 were on your feed or any of that. So, you know, you mentioned this has been going on for a few months. So I'm going to ask you one more time. When did this really start for you online? Online. Was it right after the divorce? That was 2022? 2022. Okay. I mean, we've seen posts on back more than 2022. Oh, really? I mean, come on, man. I'm trying to think. I, mean, I, I can tell you the truth about my memory mm -hmm. that sometimes I do forget mm -hmm. what, how long, because things are, you know, are starting to pop up right now. Uh huh. Yeah, you have to give me time. Yeah. My daughter said something in front of my son about me that when well, you get in a fight all the time about it, she calls me, oh, dad, you're so stupid. Uh huh. Like that. Yeah. I mean, I could be the dumbest thing in the world. Like, if I don't know how to fold clothes right. Right. Or put them away from my son. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? It's. She says that all the time to me, and it really. I can't holler at her. Uh huh. I'm her dad. I'm not her dad. But right. I'm her dad since she knew me when she was two years old. How old is she now? 23. Okay. She takes care of me. I would takes care of me, son, when I go to work. Is that your son? Well, oh. my, yeah. He's. Okay. Is he your bio son? No. No. We adopted him. Okay. It was. It was. If if I didn't if we didn't adopt him or. They came up to us, hey, look, it was like a lot. We said yes. So, we nice. said no. He would have been a horrible kid right now. Oh, well, I'm, gl I'm glad you it's, stepped up for him. Yeah, I tell you, the girl, well, the bio mom. <sighs> yeah. So. She got by her stepfather. Oh, okay. Okay. So, she was, was, she was adopted. Yeah. He. He adopted her and her three other girls. Mm -hmm. And I remember being over there and she was pregnant. Uh huh. And this ain't no lie. Yeah. I was sitting there. And he hollered, said, Lacey, get your ass out here. 
your uh, how do you say it? Your <sighs> said something about your other daddies out here. Man, that made me sick. Of course, you couldn't say nothing to him about that. Well, I'm I'm really glad you stepped up for for him like that. So, do you have any kids of your own? Bio kids? I couldn't. Oh no. Okay. We tried for 17 years. Yeah. They. The company I went to to get me tested. Uh huh? Oh, you're perfectly fine. You can have kids. Right. Checked her out. Oh, you're perfectly fine. You can have kids. Uh huh. But they didn't test. She had one of her much more products. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and they had to go in there and clean her out. Got it. And then it made her infer infertile. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm, I'm glad you stepped up for those kids, man. But anyway, um, right. okay. I'm sorry. Off no, no, I, I really respect that. I mean, that tells me more about you that you're a good guy who just fell into some, maybe. Deep. Yeah, exactly. And uh, there's another thing. Uh huh. On Instagram, I used to follow these guys. Mm hmm. They didn't have, like, no profile. Yeah, picture, yeah. And a zero, um, zero and whatever the other numbers were. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one guy from, I don't know if he was actually from North Carolina, he said, man, you know, these girls look really hot. Oh, gosh. So, not thinking. Mm hmm And then, I got another friend. You and me, and me can hook up and look at these girls. And that's what... Oh, like basically underage stuff? Yeah. Okay. But see, I didn't really understand it. Yeah, I, yeah. I got scared of my... So, uh -huh. so bad, I was got, I was got sick over it. How many years ago was this? Um, was it? 2021. Okay. And that's how I fell in this deep friggin' hole. So you think that's what it was? <coughs> okay. Did they take you? Like, did you ever talk to Hannah on Telegram at all? No. Okay. Did Do you have Telegram? Yeah. Okay. I, I got a couple of my cousins on there. Uh. My daughters. Boyfriend's on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is your daughter's boyfriend in uh, Delaware? Yeah. Okay. Are your cousins in Delaware? I got, yeah. Okay. All right. But I found out that one of them is not on there. Yeah. So I went to. Uh, <coughs> who's your, I'm sorry, who's your uh, phone service provider? Verizon. Okay. No, I'm just curious. Yeah, go on. Um, she, she was on there, but she left. Uh -huh. And then my nephew's. My nephew was on it. Well, he's, I don't know. He's kind of like family, but he's yeah. my nephew. But he was on there, and I went to text him. I said, hey, what's up? And he said, uh, who's this? And I said, oh, I thought you were. My... Right. Colin. Sorry. Okay. So these uh, these faceless profiles, um, they said, look at these hot girls. You know, and obviously, you know, to send some messages like this, you've had to have seen some corrupting stuff, you know. Because yes. obviously everybody gets, you know, if you get corrupted, you know, you in turn turn into the corrupter. And it's not fair to you that it happened, but something happened. Look at these hot girls. What what did they send you? Was it Was it some crap you shouldn't be seeing? Okay, was it like borderline illegal stuff, if not illegal stuff? It looked legal, but I think what... When I'm thinking, because some of them had, like, digital uh -huh. video, what do you call it, digital video, um, <clears throat> some of them had that on it. Digital, audio, it looks like their faces, uh -huh. but not their bodies. Okay, okay, got it. S switch, um. Yeah, yeah, deep fake, whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. So... You know, th these pictures they were sending, I mean, you know, I, what I'm getting at here is it wasn't like, you know, adults. Because, you know, everybody watches, I'm sure you do, and, you know, I have before. Were they sending basically, and like I said, you know, this is what... It looked like profiles from other girls. Okay. Like, but but what, what was it, was it profiles or images, or both? Both. They were sending, so they were sending like pictures in the DMs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were any of the pictures, and again, you know, if you didn't ask for it... That's totally fine. I mean, that's kind of what I'm, as long as you don't ask for that stuff, that's right. what I'm concerned about. Did, did they send like illegal pictures of girls? It looked like illegal. Like yeah. child? Yes. Okay, okay. And then I, you know, when it got really bad, yeah. I got 
I actually reported them, restrict them. And oh, them. God bless you. Yeah, that's, well, that's good. So when it got when it got really bad, so so how long were they like sending this crap to you for? I mean, my God, that must be terrible. Uh, at least a couple couple days. Okay. Okay. So after a while, then I like stop looking at them and then somehow mm -hmm. it, I don't know what it was it just something drawed me into it yeah to go because deeper I couldn't I couldn't pay for them they ended up for the scammers no more right and that was the stupid damn thing that I did in the world because I, when I that, when I spent that $50 on that one girl mm -hmm. I actually used my rent money for it oh nice <laughs> so so you know, these images of child they sent, what what were they specifically? And how old do you think the girls were? Like, was it infants? Was it? No, it was, when they, it was more like teenagers, like. Probably um, Hannah's age? Like 13, 14, or? 13 up to 17. Okay, okay. And were, was it pictures or videos or both? Just pictures. Okay. Were the pictures of them with somebody else or some of them were? It was, like some of them? A, bunch of, it was a bunch of kids together. And okay. Then, and pools. And they were all naked? No. They're, they all had, they all had okay. clothes on. Okay. Well, you they wouldn't... They tried you, to get me to, okay. Well, to get listen, okay. okay. Look, I know how these faceless profiles work, all right? Again, like, help me help you find, like, what they're doing to you. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not concerned about the guy going down the rabbit hole. I'm concerned about the people making the rat, creating the rabbit hole. Oh, you. So, you know, you wouldn't be using the term if there was no nudity. No, there weren't. There was no nudity. It was just kids dressed up in beauty suits. In bathing suits, and it, he'll take like it, it looked like he took if he went into the mall, uh -huh. he took pictures of him. Okay. That kind of. Okay, so these were like up close shots yeah. of like their private parts. No, they weren't. Well, like, yeah, were, I get they were covered, but were they like up close of their covered private parts? They were, he was more like if he was, you know, the the benches yeah. at the mall. Yeah. He might have been like taking a picture. Like a peeping tom type of thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Were, were these so these girls were like scantily clothed? You mentioned uh, they were at a pool. Pool. Some of them look at the, the mall. You know the the girls that like to wear the um, tight, tight. Um, what you call it? Uh, leggings. Uh huh. Okay. I, I don't. I don't like that. Okay. So they were. So basically, were they zoomed in on the leggings? Yeah. Okay. So it was basically to try to stimulate you sexually. Okay. Got it. So the message with Hannah, you know, at first they were very cordial. Like, it seemed like you truly cared about her. She, it kind of, like, affected me like she, like me. Mm hmm But, you know, it just yeah. I went down that rabbit hole. So you, so you work with uh, washers. What do they call you? work, Mr. Clean? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I just no. figured washers. It's, um, do I have one? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So not like washing machines. Not washing machines. Okay. It's just the stuff that's, you know, you ever seen one of them nuts at the hardware store that has the plastic inside the nut? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, it seemed like you guys were really, uh, really cordial at first. You talked about a restaurant in Milford or Greenwood. Yeah, she told me about Greenwood, about having tamborillies. Mm-hmm. Well, why did you bring her to from, uh, uh, because I wanted to, because I had some um, people on my other profile. Okay. They didn't want to see that stuff? Yeah. Okay. So I said, you know. Appreciate you being honest about that. Basically secrecy reasons. I know it sounds bad, but like if it is, it is. What, what is the word you said? Basically bring her to for secrecy reasons. Yeah. Okay. Because I noticed you blocked her on. Uh, I keep uh, thinking Tony Bobolinsky, that guy. Yeah, the, uh, the laptop conspiracy theorist. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I figured. So, um, okay, yeah, so you talked on... So did you talk to the other two underage kids on... Or, uh, okay. But they're like five hours difference in, uh, in time. Right, so it's not like a... Right, yeah, okay. So, let's do that. Okay, so basically it was a lot of filler stuff, like kind of you know, hinting at stuff, but not really saying anything, like hinting at what was kind of said today. Right. So, I mean, we can just kind of cut through all the filler stuff. 
So today, I mean, it got very sexual I know, between the two of you. That's, that's when I threw up. You threw up? Yes. Okay. I, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, and you, and you mentioned today, of course, the European chick calls you daddy. Um, then you, what was talked about, you mentioned you're going you're gonna to lick further up between your legs. That's when I got when I threw up. Okay. And when, when you said you're going to lick further up between your legs, you meant her, at least in that moment? In that moment, yes. Okay. That's when I threw up. Okay. And, so, I, and that's when one of the guys walked by and he said, Are you alright? I said, no, I'm about to throw up. Mm -hmm. He said, alright, let me go get the bucket. And he had a mop right there and I threw up. And then they came and helped me off the floor and uh, clean up all the stuff. Okay. So... That's when I blocked her and restricted her. Mm -hmm. Then you proceeded to unblock her and try to follow her again. Yeah, I don't know why. No. Okay. I, I, I had a doubt about that. About going back into it? Yes. Yeah. And I don't know why I did it. It's like a Chinese buffet. It's like you eat a lot of it, you consume a lot of it, you throw up, then you're hungry again, then you go back into it. Is that kind of what happened? It's something like that. I felt bad. <clears throat> I hate being mean to people. Right. You know, I mean. They're just a nice guy. I just can't. Okay. So, you said you can call me daddy if you want to. Then she said, okay, daddy. And you said, yes, baby. Daddy's girl is like a flower. Yeah. And then Hannah says, is there anything else you want to do in person? And then Stephen King, if he was on chemo, says, like to take your shoes off so I can wash them and lick your toes, nibble each one of them, kiss your feet, lick, take your pants off with my teeth. Do you remember saying that? Okay. Is that a yeah? Yes. Okay. What was, were you just kind of getting carried away there? Or? Okay. Is there any way I'm going to, I got to go in the bathroom. I'm about to get sick again. Vomit? I think of vomit and it actually wants to come out both ends. Okay, well, um, you know, I'm not, I, can, I can try to hold it, not to. I can't hold you here, but I can. I encourage you to stay here. Like that's just my. No, they got a bathroom inside. You think you can just vomit here? Uh, I got to do the number two, but I can hold that back. Okay, if you can hold the number two back, I would appreciate. I mean, I can't make you, but like, I'm just asking you to. Can I sit down. Right here? Oh, oh, well, absolutely, absolutely. Let me. Yeah, dude, I'm not I'm not no cop or anything like that, dude. I'm not holding you here, okay? I want to make that clear with you. So, I have a new knee, that's why I have to... Oh, you have a new knee? I have a new knee, guys. I have to be very careful. I'm standing up like that. On, actually, on asphalt and concrete. Because at work, I stand up on concrete all day, but they allow me to sit down okay. and do my job. Got it. And this, this leg here is starting to go, and it's bow-legged. Because mm -hmm. both my legs were bow-legged. So they straighten this knee up, you can tell. Not to change the story. Now. Yeah. See, they yeah. took a brand new knee and straightened it up. And after, before they woke me up, they actually bent this knee and then uh, all the way under my leg. Mm -hmm. And then they woke me up and then I had to go to therapy for two months. I was out of work for two months. But, uh, Damn, man. Yeah. Tough. So I was this kind of, so I could see this kind of being an escape for you then on some stuff that makes sense so you said kiss your legs all over the place and kiss lips and then she so you said inner thighs you remember saying that stuff okay were you just kind of horny at the time you weren't horny so you just talking okay so then you i think you realized what you said and then you said when we meet like we're just gonna kiss okay so you said i would love to go further but it's your choice and then that's when you explained you said I love to rub your peach. And that, does that mean butt? Okay. And then you talked about getting whipped cream mm -hmm. and kissing her with, with the whipped cream, and then rubbing hazelnut chocolate on her breasts. And do, I didn't really say on her breasts. But on her chest. I mean, did you mean her? I mean, did you mean to get her shirt dirty, or did you mean on her chest? Get her shirt dirty. Oh come on, Scott. Mom, okay look man i'm look it sounds embarrassing i know it's hard to talk about but like i'm not i don't i'm not judging you for this stuff man like it's i know i'm, I'm, I'm you can say I'm okay. i don't think I'm, i don't think you are look scott look at me look at me look at me 
Look at me. There's people make mistakes all the damn time. All right. I'm not perfect. Why do you? Okay. Do you? Th you know, there's some people online that are true evil sickos. Do you think I needed to? Like that same tactic. That tactic thing happened on stage. What did? In Hollywood. Satanic. Yeah. Did you see that? Of course I did. Yeah, Sam Smith. Yeah, but there's some truly evil people online. I mean, and dude, come on, they wouldn't. Uh, there's some people that would kidnap kids, do all that stuff. There's a reason I'm just having a talk with you. So there's some other people that I probably shouldn't even have talk with. That should just be fists. You know what I mean? And like, I'm not saying I'd ever hurt you in any way, even if you had bad, bad messages. But like, look, having a vice isn't. You know, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I like chocolate cake. You know what I mean? So. But we need we need to we need to be honest, all right. So, so let's 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 dissect everything here, okay? So, about the European girl with the tape on her mouth, all right. It's not easy. It's not hard to find your messages, okay? All right. So, so I'm so we we can do this together. I'm gonna stop pretending that you didn't entertain it because I know you took part in it, in the tape fetish. I know you did. She wouldn't be doing it over and over right. again, right. okay? So, what do, and I know she wasn't calling you daddy, you asked her to call you daddy. Is that right? Okay. So, and I, look, I appreciate you being honest about it, because I know you're not proud of it, and that's a huge step, okay? Because I don't think you need trouble, man. I just think you need some help for this, okay? Got me? So, whose idea was the tape? Was it hers or yours? Her idea. Huh? Her idea. Her idea? But you, but you played into it, right? Yeah. Okay. Did it did it arouse you? It kind of make me sick a little bit, and then I said, you know, maybe that's what she wants to hear, so I'm just gonna go along with it. Uh, made you maybe made you sick at first, but turned into something that turned you on, Scott, because it wouldn't go on for weeks if it didn't. It, it did turn you on, huh? Some, huh? Well, be honest, tape, Scott. But the tape. Yeah, the gagging, the gagging. I mean, that did turn you on. You're a guy. I want to choke my girlfriend. I, don't have a girlfriend. I know, but I'm saying, I, you know. T choking turns me on, okay? It's normal to be turned. Oh. Articulate kid, how old is he? Ten. Very articulate. He did a math problem that I had no idea of. You raised him well, man. Now, it's, her, it's his sisters that are doing it. Because mm -hmm. they're, he's doing algebra. Uh, oh God! His, uh, in his class, he needs to be on already smarter than a fifth grader. He's, <laughs> they actually gave him an algebra uh, question. Well, God, I can't. got mixed Elon Musk over there. You got to take advantage of that man. He can retire early at that rate. He said something about four times eight plus six minus three. Divided by something, and it came out to the number three. Okay, Scott, you're going to make me shake with my brain just trying to tell me that. I don't understand it, man. <laughs> okay, so so the, the tape thing. Okay, so now be honest, all right? How many pictures did she send you of herself in tape? None. Okay. Did she send you any nudes? None. Okay. You know I either know this or can find this out, right? I know. Okay. So she did she send you just selfies of herself? Oh, you said of her in tight clothes, right? It looked like her in tight clothes. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Maybe it was something like she cut out on a picture. You know, you can edit out a picture. Yeah, 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 for sure. So now I need to I need to kind of ask you about some stuff. Truly, okay. So there, you, you remember when I asked you about Verizon? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, do you know why I asked you that? Because you already looked into it? No. Oh. It's because I was trying to actually figure out who's your provider. Oh. Okay. All your cut, all your family's in Delaware. Okay. Yeah, Delaware. Uh, I got some in Florida and Kentucky. I know, but all of your Telegram homies are in Delaware. You don't need Telegram to talk to them. Mm -hmm. So let's cut, let's cut that out. Mm -hmm. What do you really look at on Telegram? And I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying you got sucked into it. But look, man, I'm going to tell you, you're probably, I've, I've confronted, I've done this before a lot of times, okay? I always know the Instagram to Telegram pipeline. I know when they follow hashtag 13-year-old girl on Instagram, I know what's on Telegram for them. So 
Um, and the reason I asked about Verizon is because you have phone service. You know, you don't need to text them on Telegram. You can hit 302 number to 302 number. It's, it's mm -hmm. most simple. And again, I understand why you would be guarded about Telegram because that's the most heinous stuff, you know. And you're not causing it, but you got sucked into it. And I understand why you wouldn't tell the truth about that. I'm not judging you for that, okay. But <laughs> what do you really see on Telegram? I already know what it is. You can just tell me because we can uh, be on the same page there's here. A couple 18 year olds on there. And there's okay, all right. Yeah, it's, they're always 18 and up, right? Come on, Scott. Okay. How old is she? She's 18. Okay. Scott, I'm not getting at the 18 year olds. Okay. Okay. But she said she's 18 on Instagram. Okay. No, I. I, I know, but like you said before, they, should, they could be saying they're, they could be saying they're, they're that that age. Right. Well, until well, someone well, would probably dig us into it. Well, 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 if somebody, yeah, I get it. But if they say they're 18, then I can't fault you for anything that happens. But. I'm Scott. You know, you know what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about the 18 year olds. I'm not talking about the 25 year olds. You know what I'm talking about. You remember the faceless profiles you talked about earlier? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about for Telegram, don't you? Yes. Okay. So, look, man. Again, you you don't do you have a you've never produced any images of uh, bad stuff before? Okay, I know that you wouldn't no. you don't even send pics around. So, I know that's not you, but what I'm going to ask you. Okay, you can tell me zero, but I know it's going to be bull if you say zero. How much child have you seen on Telegram? A lot. A lot. Yeah. Look, there's a guy on there. You? No, it's it's a guy. Okay. He's, an older, he's older than I am. Yeah. And um, if you want, I can report him for you. Well, let's let me just take down his name. You don't need to show me. Just let me. His name? Okay. It's. Uh, I know how to spell. But it's a different kind of. Okay. I, 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 okay. I know how to spell. Okay. okay. I, I, I've seen Breaking Bad. Okay. Breaking Bad. Yeah. What is that? Oh, sick. <laughs> okay. I never seen Breaking Bad. Before. You're too. You're so. You're so. Uh, you're so non-innocent, but you're also so innocent. It's like a. It's I like some, some movies I do get into and some movies I don't. I mean, some I don't even remember even watching Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. Well, is that a movie or is that a? Well, actually, it's this TV show called Breaking Dad. No, I'm just oh, kidding. Breaking Dad. No, oh, just okay. kidding, just kidding. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, so child is he in a? Is he does he run a group or is he DMing this to you personally? Personally. Personally DMs I've this to you. Him. Yeah. And I seen what he showed and then I said. Right. Okay, well... Because he's in another country. Yeah, as they always are. Russia? I don't know. We didn't know so. That's irrelevant, don't worry. Okay, um, Scott, <laughs> again, I appreciate you opening up a little bit, but let, let's cut the bull. Like, oh, this is bad. Do I believe that you have moments where... See, what differentiates you from other people like you is you have remorse, and I appreciate that, and I think we can get you some help for this, okay? Because you want to be helped. But... Okay. Let's 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 not pretend that you were just disgusted by what he sends you. How long has he been sending child to you? He only sent it to me once. <laughs> you said you've seen lots of child, but not like what he sent me. Okay, what did he send you? He sent me girls with sticking pens up there. Okay, okay. Uh, how how old were these girls? You think were they very young? I couldn't. They, I, I, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen year olds. Pens up there. Okay, so how, how, when did he send you this to you? Last year. Last year. Okay. So you remember that he remembered his name pretty specifically. Yeah. So that tells me, you know, if you can't even remember what month you were texting Hannah in, and you remember what he sent that to you. Yeah, because he's he been. Does, yeah, because he keeps popping up on my damn Telegram. Yeah. Does he just spam you all the time? Mm -mm. He pops it's, up on your Telegram. Yeah. How so? His name? Yeah. Because you can actually block the people and they still pop up for some reason. Or another. That's not how it works. I don't know why his name keeps popping up. Because you didn't block him. Because you told me, you just told me, Scott, you're tripping over your words, all right? Yeah. Again, for the 10th, and I'll keep saying it because I don't mind because I'm here to help. I'm here, I'm here to get, I'm here to turn this around for you. I'm not here to demean you or anything like that. You just told me two minutes ago you would report him. 
Okay. I, would, I can report him. I know. But you would have done that already if you blocked him. You didn't block him, so be honest. How many times did he send you child? He only sent me a, a list, and then he said he asked me to pay for something. I said, no, I can't. I'm not paying for nothing like uh -huh. that. Was this a separate time from when he sent you the pins up there? It was a, the whole list. It was a whole list? Okay. So, the pins of their that was like a preview image or something? or? Yeah, there were videos. There were videos? Okay, so these were videos of girls doing that. Okay. Did he send you any images? Uh, just videos. Just videos? How many videos do you think it was? At least 20. At least 20, okay. I can't really. No. Because they're like in separate blocks. They're in s separate blocks? Yeah. Okay. Did he send all 20 at once, or was it over the course of a few days or a few months? Or? I guess that's, that's how he, you know, sells them. Right, but did he send all 20 at once, or did he send all yes. 20 all, all at once? Okay. It, it was all, all at once, and then on the bottom it said, if you want to pay for like $10. Oh, you can join his uh, locals? Yeah. Or what? Okay. No, okay. I didn't, I don't. I don't buy that stuff. Okay. So you said you've seen lots of child. Um, that's a Just that one there was the only one I've seen on Telegram with his name on it. Okay. So where else have you seen child Telegram that was not? I mean, one of them girls here called. Was she from Instagram? Or did you just meet her on Telegram? They had, um, I think she might have been on Instagram. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, they had to be on Instagram to have an account Telegram. All right. And they, they siphoned you over to Telegram and sent you a child? They, were only, they only showed girls um, from reels from TikToks. Reels from TikToks? Yeah. Okay. And be, uh, string bikinis. String bikinis, okay. How, how much, besides what? How much more young girl nude, underage nudity have you seen on Telegram? Not that much. Not that much. I mean, I was the only one that sent that. Okay, Scott. And then they, and it was somebody else. Okay, somebody else. Yeah, it was a, a girl and a dog. Girl and a dog. She wanted to sell that stuff too, but okay, she, I think she got reported off of there too within minutes so she sent you a video of a girl a little girl having with a dog no it was it wasn't a little girl it was her and her dog okay she was going to send a video uh -huh. but you had to pay for it on television how old was a girl and it looked more like 20 year old okay so scott it's not hard to follow you around on telegram all right it's not hard to find your profile any of that stuff yeah the dog stuff, okay, that's not child talking about child So we got, we got, we're sending you nudes of kids, we got the string bikinis, but you said lots of child lots of child I don't think that qualifies as lots. So where else, who else sent you nudes? Because again, if you can help me with this, I mean, I think it'll help you and help everybody and kids being exploited. So help me the solution, not the problem here. Because again, you want me to get my phone and show you? Um, oh, is it on your phone right now? I mean, I I have, uh, not. That's the only person that has the the uh, child. Yeah. Okay, and that's still sitting in the chat somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you never reported him or blocked him then. No. Okay. But I had. Um, okay. Basically, Scott, let me ask you this: um, whether it's you know twenty that Heisenberg sent or a million. I don't, I don't care either way. I'm just curious so we can save children here. Okay. How many images and videos of child sitting on your phone right now? Twenty, twenty-five. 25. So it's all from, I'm, I'm not really I'm believing that. To, I don't think there's, I'm trying to think there's another one on that. I can't remember her name. There's another one that sent you child? Yeah, it's more like, um, Kids at a playground. Okay. Or the kids like, at the pl playground naked? No, they're no? not naked. They're just playing. Okay. 
So they look like look like her own kids. Mm -hmm. Jumping in the pool. You know, yeah. One swing on the swing set. Okay. You know, and there's a call in the yard. See, Scott, what, 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 why I know that you're still holding things back, which again, I can't blame you for it because I know it's hard to talk about. You can describe those pictures vividly. I'm trying to think who it is. I'm, I know you're digging into my head. Okay. I'm trying to figure out who these, which one it is. Basically, okay. What, what I'm asking is, besides, besides what I sent you, is there anybody else that sent you nudes of children on your phone? No, so it's only from. Yeah. Okay. How many of those are sitting in your phone gallery right now? Basically, if I was to go on photos on your phone, how many would I find? On photos? Mm -hmm. well, I don't have any photos on that. No, so it's all in the Telegram chat right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, if you want, I'll bring my phone out here. I'll... Where is your phone right now? It's in there. In the car. No, it's in there. Because there's no reception in it. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Got it. So, uh, how many, how many, uh, how many years were, have you been on Telegram for? Has it been, like, since Instagram or what? Um, actually, Telegram, I had for a while. Mm -hmm. I was dating a girl up in upstate she had telegram she said here telegram is you know it's something like text texting but it was more like her oh jock can you see that place is still open get pickles that uh i was dating for a while she had telegram mm -hmm. but it was just her and then my um stepdaughter's on there yeah and her husband um, I'm on there. Mm -hmm. and most of my kids' grandmothers, not grandma, grandmothers and aunts are on there too. Yeah. Because they use that for texting. Mm hmm Okay. So I'm curious. Um, what I kind of need to ask you, Scott, is have you ever been accused of doing something like this in person, of touching anybody? Never. never no. Even thought about doing that. You haven't been I mean, accused? No. I mean, it's, 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 it's what? Huh? You said, I mean, it's what? I mean, I had, I never did it in my life. Okay. Have you had thoughts about it? Not in real life. Not in real life? Okay. But you, you just had fantasies about basically underage kids? Not really. Um, uh, making love to? Kiss. Kiss. Okay. So, what, what I want to ask you about Hannah now is, you know, you, you mentioned a few times or once or twice that I'm in Smyrna at the park by the elementary school. Mm -hmm. You mentioned today, like, we can meet Friday, all of this stuff. Right. Okay. That's, it's not going to happen anyway. Just, well. Everything gets changed. And... Yeah. But obviously, you know, you hinted at trying to meet her when you were in Smyrna a couple months ago. Yeah, um, actually, my son and I were just coming back from fishing, and I had texted her. Mm-hmm. And I don't think she lives in Smyrna. Okay. I don't think she lives in Delaware. Okay, well, that was, I'm going to let you know, that was us the whole time. Oh. Yeah. So, there's been multiple times where, you know, Obviously, you talk about meeting her. I want to hang out with you. I want to hang out. Okay. Okay. Nothing, nothing in there is passion, it said. But uh huh. So. Mine is. I, I, need, I need help. I, I, I think. I swear so. God, I help. Okay. I mean, do, do you think you were. If this didn't happen, you're probably going to make a really big mistake with her if she was real? I See, head down. Yeah, but I mean, if she was real, I think you were going to make a really big mistake. Mm -hmm. And I think you were going to, you know, whenever you were free, whenever she was free, whenever your kids aren't with you, I think if the time was right, you were both going to meet up. And, I'm, and I know you, you wouldn't force yourself on anybody, 
But I think everything here that was said, like the licking, the grabbing, I think all of that would have happened only if she had been okay with it, though. I think it was just a fantasy, and I think, in my mind, that maybe she wasn't here, maybe she lived in another state, and she said that she lived in Delaware. Right, but... And then, Right, but this wasn't a fantasy. I mean, you even asked today, do you have any cousins that I can come by and see you? I mean, basically, what we fantasize about, that's what we want to happen. I fantasize about a bunch of nice Victoria's Secrets models. Mm -hmm. So this was a fantasy. That's telling me if she was real, if she was willing. If she was real, if she was willing, you know. I don't think you would have anybody ever, but I think you would have made a really big mistake. Okay, if she was real and she was willing, I think you would have made a really big mistake and either kissed her, and if she wanted to go further, I think I think you would have only gone further if she was okay with it, but. No, I probably wouldn't because I, I have, I get nervous a lot if I'm around a girl. Okay, so it would have just been. You know, I get nervous around my own kids sometimes. Okay, so it would have just been kissing? I'd probably just hug and. Hug? Okay. As far as I can go. Okay. So you were wanting to meet her one of these days if it was if it, the stars aligned you were wanting to meet her one of these days? Yeah. Yeah. She always wanted me to come over and, and meet her mom. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what she said. Something about her mom. Okay. Her. So you were planning on going to meet her if you were free and she was free pretty much? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's uh let, let, let's cut through it, Scott. Maybe the first time all of this stuff doesn't happen, which I can see you taking it. I can, I can tell you're a shy guy. It's so totally okay. There's introverts, extroverts, um, extroverses, like me and my cameraman here. Right. You know. You know. Yeah. But, berries. What time is it? <laughs> berries. What time is it right now? What time is it, Pop? Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, it's four, eight. I'm going there and pay the man. Yeah, it is 7.45. Okay. Yeah, so basically, basically, you know, I don't, I don't think, yeah, maybe a kiss and a hug, of course, but yeah, I can see this stuff not happening, like the, you know, put the whipped cream and the hazelnut stuff, but I'll talk. yeah, I'll talk the first time, but obviously that's something you wanted to do. I tried to do that with one of the uh, girls I had met on Facebook dating. Okay. She said she was into that and we went to her house and she had everything laid out. That's how I know. Uh, we can't do that right now. Oh. Yeah. I mean. So you can bust a nut without even coming on her chest? Oh, she didn't want that either. Okay. Well, ba basically my point is, so you've done this before, not with an underage, but you know, you've, you've done this whipped cream hazelnut before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that tells me it's not really a fantasy. It's something that you've done before. Yeah, with, okay. with an older woman. I know with an age. older woman, but, you know, you floated this around. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think if the time was right and you guys are comfortable enough with each other, and if she tells you it's okay, I think you would have I think you would have done it. And I'm not saying you're ba a bad guy for falling through, but you obviously have a child addiction. Um, do you think you have a child addiction? Okay. So you have a child addiction, mm -hmm. and I think you absolutely would have done this. Just be f honest. I think you would have. If, if she, I, I really get nervous. I know you would have been nervous, but if you were comfortable with it and she was comfortable, I think you would have done it. No. No? no. Just a kiss and hug? Okay. So you said you have a child, even, huh? Even with my own um, niece and nephew. Yeah? When, um, when they were growing up, uh -huh. they always had, they always actually, might as well say they're bad. Because yeah. their dad was too They busy. say when the food will be ready? Okay. They, their dad, actually was married to another woman. I, I ended up raising my niece and nephew mm -hmm. for him. Yeah. For 15 years. And then he comes into life and he, um, on her birthday when she was 16. Well, the 16 years making, mm -hmm. uh, I was right there when she was born. Yeah. Guess where he was? Where? On his honeymoon. Ugh. That's insane. He was supposed to be there to help deliver his girlfriend's baby while he was already getting married to his fiance for the last five years. Ugh. Well, gotta ask, 
So you, you mentioned that, you know, I said, do you have a child addiction? You said yes. So that tells me an addiction, it, it wasn't just 20 images from Okay, how much child you really received? I mean, nudes of little kids. Not, not a whole lot. Okay, well, so it was a whole lot earlier. Now it's not a whole. It's, it was a very, it was like a, an image of it. An image besides? Yeah. Okay. She's no longer on it. I can't even find it. Her name was, um, Flolly. Uh huh. Was this on Telegram? What was the image? It was. It was a girl, mm -hmm. and she said, "Look, this is two sisters going out, going out, mm -hmm. out each other." Were they naked? Was, no. The older sister put her up on the table uh -huh. and started kissing her, and then she started taking her shirt off. Okay. And so, that was it. So they weren't. And, and then about a minute later, the girl that sent me that stuff mm -hmm. from Instagram to Telegram. Yeah. Suddenly, the girl on Instagram was no longer there. Okay. And when I looked her up, it says, um, you know when you block somebody, mm -hmm. it says that thing. Yeah. Not, not fusing. Yeah, Instagram user? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's one it, that's one video you received. So, so you got you have that video. So, and the, of course the g-string little girls, which is pretty borderline. So you said you have an addiction. Addiction means every day, almost every day. Well, not, I don't say every day. I think I have an addiction talking to these girls. Talking to underage kids. And then I just need to stop. Okay, so so how many that's underage? When I saw you come in, I said this is not right. How many, how many underage kids have you talked to then? Um, you, you mentioned Hannah and two others, but how many, if it's an addiction, how many has it really been? I think it was addiction with these three. And these three? Okay. When's, when's the last time you've uh, viewed child? If it was today, then no worries. Just when did it happen? I don't, I don't really, not going to judge. When was on um, Instagram. Instagram or Telegram? Telegram. Okay. Yeah, but come on, that's not... Okay, if you know it's still sitting on your phone, you didn't view this... You didn't last view child six months ago. When did you really last view it? The last time I viewed it? Yeah, when's the last time you opened one of those images and, you know, looked at it and it's like, oh, nice. A week ago? A week ago? Okay. And was that an image for someone else? Okay, so just... Well, I just wanted to... Someone on Telegram said, hey, I'm looking for some, uh, not a copyright, but videos of girls. Of little kids? Little kids. I don't, he didn't really say how, what the little kids were. He just needed to, um, define, um, what I'm trying to, the word. Someone hit you up asking for those images? Yeah. Okay, and you just, did you forward stuff to them? I couldn't. It, wouldn't, it, it didn't have that little arrow. Okay. I would, it was it was reported spam. Okay. And then I got in trouble for it. Yeah, how did you get in trouble? It said spam and then um, it said something about you have no authorized name. Okay. So y you tried to send a child to somebody else? It won't let me. Okay, but yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have the share button. Right, but so so, what did you try to send to somebody else? Was it a child image? Or child? It, it the name. Okay, so you're trying to share his profile. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that either. Okay, got it. I mean, I tried. Yeah. But so so, who hit you up asking for photos? Who was it? Another guy or who who was this? It was somebody named. How'd you meet him? Instagram or Telegram? Telegram. Okay. Did how did how did he come across you? Um, he saw me looking at one of the, like, the teen reels. Uh-huh. So you were in a group with this stuff being sent? Yeah. Okay. It was, and then that was under another name, and then somebody else owned it. Okay, so it was a group. It was a group. Okay. In the group, how many times was nudity of kids sent in there, if you had to guess? There was no nudity. It was just mostly... Mostly reels. 
materials okay. and there was um interracial interracial okay how do they know to cut how many people were in the group i mean it was like five thousand. Oh, in the group okay how do they know to come to you asking for child i guess been asking everybody they've been asking everybody I okay mean, i seen i can go on i don't know how to get on their profile and see who's been sending them stuff okay okay scott look man like i said i've been following your telegram okay i know you haven't only received child shared it with other people too okay. how many times do you think it's happened where you share child it just it's just kind of weird this guy you're in a group of 5,000 people and he knows to come to you to get child unless he asked somebody else because he was okay. on and he asked anybody that uh -huh. knew anybody okay that kind so of how many times have you sent child to someone else I sent it once and then it said I'm not authorized to do okay. that Okay, so did he end up receiving the child you tried sending him? He didn't say, he, he got nothing. Okay. He, it said, uh -huh. was coming up as Okay. I said, well, that might be his name. I'm not sure because there was two of them. Okay. And you said you've last viewed child a week ago. Yeah. Okay. What, what image uh, from did you view a week ago? Or did you just look at all the videos, or? I just looked at a couple videos, and I said, okay. well, you know, I need to be a bit of this. Okay, and it's still sitting on your phone, though? Yeah, it's still must. Okay. Like did uh, the restaurant call you or something? Yeah. They're, yeah, they'll be here momentarily. Oh, uh, the Uber? Yeah. Okay. I'm starving. Well, you, you need to watch out for them people. U Ubers? Yes. Okay, okay. What happened? My mother-in-law, ex-mother-in-law. Okay. She ordered food Sunday. Uh-huh. She didn't get her food at all. Yeah. The guy stole it, and um, they, she, my daughter had to go over there and say, Mama, where's your food at? She said, well, I've been waiting since Sunday to get it. She said, where's it at? So they called Walmart up. She said, um, we had to fire one of the people that was taking the food to you. Uh-huh. She had $250 worth of food. Ugh. Um, I think you need to worry about the Uber. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, she got screwed over that. They, yeah. They're, she's waiting on her money to get back from the food store car, but they won't return the money. Oh, the great. Car. Good family. Nice. Well, um, yeah, okay. So when's the last time you fell for a scam and bought something or, you know, paid a girl money? I didn't do that anymore. I didn't. I was done with that. No, when was the last time it happened, though? I mean, when was the last time it happened? Yeah. Two years ago. Okay. It was a ten dollars. Yeah. Scott, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know here, man. I'm I'm not I'm not stupid. I'm not an idiot. I understand. Okay, that. and I know. You're a smart man. I'm a very smart man. I know that I know that compulsion can get the best of people, including me. I mean, look look at this. You think this isn't compulsion right here at like Mexican restaurants? It's compulsion, man. Gets the best of us a lot of times, and a lot of times we spend money on compulsion. So you mentioned it was only ten bucks. Even if it was one time, have you ever bought child? No. No. Have you ever bought an, any images of girls before? No. No. Okay. So you've only received it and tried to send it. Okay, got it. Well, um, gosh, I hope that Uber gets here. That's probably 20 minutes. Oh, he's a goofy Uber, Uber. Oh. You mean the, um, another word for that, DoorDash. Uh-huh, yeah. You can make your money doing that. Yeah. My yeah. daughter's boyfriend did it for about a month. But since he lives in Middletown, he had to go up to, up to Claymont yeah. and all them places around there. But when he was <coughs> delivering from, like, Chinese and all them other places, yeah, he said he was using my daughter's car. He must have spent almost, like, 50 bucks in gas. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here, we're going to go in with them here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell him, dude. You stay here at the concert. Here. You gotta go in and pay the guy. Yeah. He All right. We'll just, uh, safety reasons. 
when he's doing it right now. Yeah. Well, we gotta get home, though. What's your son's name? Dang, he's probably gonna be hating his dad uh, if he finds out what this is about. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. He's such a sweet kid, man. You can't, you can't let him down like this. No. It's bad, not good, not good, not good. Did you get my phone? Got my phone? Oh gosh. Oh, I can make sure it stays on lock because if we don't Yeah. Is he gonna be okay in the core, you think? Uh, it's cold. Can we pop the trunk? Is it over here like zoom like he said? Yeah, I think inside will break it. Alright, let's um gotta pay the man, you know. Yeah, gotta already, pay already, you already paid him. Oh he paid Koth already? Yeah. Okay. Got it. So if you want, I can... No, well, hey, just, oh, this is friend calling. Yeah, you can, you can answer it. For sure. I can't make you nod. So... Hello? Hey. You should just say, hey. No, that's my son's. Oh, son. oh, got it. Say, Jesse. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, can you, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Do you mind putting the phone in airplane mode, please? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's no reception on here, you know that, right? No, I know, but still just airplane mode. Think of it as a, because we're at a baseball place, a fly ball airplane mode. All right, just uh, yeah, let's let me go inside. Let's go inside real quick. I gotta tell you something, man. I know, I know. I'm not gonna make it loud. Let's just uh. Keep the door open. Let's just, uh, thumbs, just here look. So basically, you know, obviously, you know, uh, you know, this is, you know what I mean, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna shut it out. Just, uh, yeah, just gotta. No, no, it's fine. Ah! Ah! All right, look, okay. So um, what I'm of course recommending you do right now because your phone is, uh, your phone is contaminated. All right, what I recommend you do, you know how to get home, right? Yes. What I recommend you do is you, 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 you put your phone down here on airplane mode and just uh, leave it on airplane mode, okay. all right? And then what else I would do, Coin, is... You forgot about not charging because you want all the malware going into the phone. Right, right. Well, I'm sure that guy probably knows. He looks like an IT expert just pulled up. How's it going, sir? What's going on? What's going on tonight? So this individual here has been talking to who he believes to be a 13-year-old girl sexually. Okay. But the main thing is he has like over 20 images of child on his phone. He admitted this to us. Okay. What's your name, sir? Take your hands out of your pocket. You got anything on you? No, just my phone. All right, take your hands out of your pocket. Okay. Turn around. Place your hands behind your back. Place your hands behind your back. How's my phone going to be at home? So what? My phone. What about your son? Oh, his son is in the car over there, sir. He doesn't need a ride home. How old is he? He's 10. You have a wife? Nope. Yeah, I can't get 
His mom is away from more. But Any other daughter, family around? Yeah, my daughter, she has two at home right now. Where do you live? Can you call her? Yeah, can I? Can or can I get a number for her to call her? Um, yeah, I'll have to get my number for her. Chuck. Do you have to remember her number? Patrice, get the cuffs. Does your son know it? Well, your son's going to end up knowing that you're going with me. Oh, my. Right? Mm -hmm. So she can't get down here to pick your son up? Let's have a seat in the back of my car and uh, we'll figure some stuff out. All right. Tell them it's in airplane mode already. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. The phone is in airplane mode too already. Uh, oh, the sun came out. All right. Don't get the sun on camera. All right. I'm in recording right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $5 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. The price is going to go up in a few days, but if you get it, now while it's $5, the price stays the same for you. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.